We're going to spend a lot of time today talking about practicing medicine in the 21st century. We'll consider the drivers of new models of care, the emerging evidence and identify where we need more evidence, and explore the policy and operational challenges to broad adoption of telehealth. Telehealth is critical for providing better access to care for our members, to make it easier for our practitioners to reach our members and vice versa. It's incredible the way telehealth has organically developed both in healthcare and in our organization as a whole um, over the last several years. I think it offers us a real opportunity to increase access. It is really difficult in many health systems, perhaps with the exception of places like Kaiser Permanente, to access care when and where you need it. And I think the potential for thinking through what delivery system reform, what reimbursement reform looks like to get us to the use of telehealth to drive improvements is really critical. The VA is a rather large integrated healthcare system. We take care of over 6 million patients per year at more than 1,200 sites of care. But we also have to take care of patients across the entire American geography, um, including in places where we don't have a physical presence. And telehealth is really a critical strategy for us to provide access to healthcare to America's veterans, regardless of where they are, and to make sure that we're delivering a high quality experience the benefit of bringing a group together like this with diverse thoughts, with diverse backgrounds, really is what it's going to take to propel this forward. It's not one organization or one particular discipline. It's the collective together. Policymakers need to think about the barriers that have been created, sometimes for very good reasons, uh, in order to keep in check care that was delivered under a volume-based payment system. But now that we're moving to value-based payment systems, there's really the ability to think about new payment models that would encourage the kinds of innovations like telehealth that have the potential in the right way to disrupt care delivery as it is delivered now and really create a much more convenient, much more access-oriented, much more expeditious form of health care that we frequently have at this moment. We recognize that there is great demand to take what we have learned about uh, technologies that are now carried in the hands of people around the country and the implications that that could have for the care that they receive and their access to expertise. We need to embrace that, we need to understand it, we need to learn it, we need to use it, we need to make it available to those that we serve. The people in this room, the people engaged in this conversation today are the thought leaders around the country and here in Washington, D.C that can help shape the policy environment that makes telehealth available to folks that we serve and makes it realize its full potential. <laughs>